She's not bad looking. I wonder if there's some deep fake. What? Of her. Wait. Even Joe didn't do this. There's the real ones. Of who? Rosie? Get distracted. We'll come back to these later. What? <laughs> what is going a on in this you like rip off? You will have Instagram. Is he talking in his head or out loud Instagram right now? I don't know. Connect. This rosy Perez is pretty hot. Wish she came in the bookstore. What? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is reason 122 that you will not get a girlfriend. Hello again. I found you checking out the nonfiction section. And this dude, the way he talks in his head is just flat out creepy. Probably wanting to escape your dull life. But your laugh sounds like it is fun. What is fun? Her Jeez. life? This is tougher than it is. What? Joe makes this it is... seem so easy to read these girls on the show with you. Convenient script writing, perhaps. But still, I feel so connected to him. It's why I felt that I had to get this job at this bookstore. Ah, uh, at least. Your first words to me. Hello. Hey, Jim. Ah, you know my name already. Yeah, how does she know your name? Guilty. Your boss Miguel told me to look for you. The woman's bathroom is disgusting. He told me you were supposed to clean it. There's like your mouth aren't synced. Just sitting there. Ah uh, yes, of course. I'll go there now. Sorry. Yeah uh, yeah Thank yeah. You. This is upsetting me greatly. Oh wow. John Grissom, love his work. You read John Grissom? Never in my life, but I better think of something quick. Joe was so much better at this, considering he loved books, and I haven't read a book since the fourth grade. Hello? Are you there? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Seems what is, What are you trying to do? What are you, what are you trying to do right now? Like you were talking to yourself. She's good. Oh my god. Is she not wearing a bra? I think she wants me to notice it. Sorry, hey, No, bro, I you're going to jail. Out. At least Joe wasn't caught out. Seem like... You've been doing plenty of that <laughs> At least I mean, Joe was smooth with it. At least Joe was smooth with it. You're based on your vibe, student. Your blouse is loose. You're not here to be oval, but those bracelets. Hey, Joe, Guys. You like a little attention. Okay. They even stole the script from you. I didn't even realize that because I, ha I haven't watched the first episode of you in over a year. Rewatched it, but... They even stole the script I from you. Hmm. You're not the standard. This dude does not know what original content is. Never finish. Too sun kissed for Stephen King. Dax, have you read her fiction? Desperate characters is her, it's her best. <sighs> That's what I keep hearing. They haven't read this. See, look how much smoother this is. I can safely say it is that good. It's a high endorsement, and from a bookstore clerk, nonetheless. Whoa. Look at them. You see that vibe, you see? She was already connecting with this serial killer from the get-go. He had talk, he had risk, he was smooth with it. Then we got this dude. I think she wants me to notice. <laughs> Sorry, hey, why don't I check you out? Check me out? Seems like you've been doing... He, she, she knows. Wait, 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 I just realized, I just... Why don't I check you out? Check me out? Seem like... You've been doing plenty of th I thought this dialogue was he was talking in his head. I thought he was talking in his head like actual joke. This sucker is having his inner monologue out of his mouth. Everything he has said has been out loud. I thought, see the voice thingy is so bad I couldn't even tell. But everything he's been saying inside his head has not been in. He, he literally asked, hey, why don't I check you out? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, piece of crap, bro. Alrighty. I mean, uh, at the register. Um, sure. He has, he's not smooth so, at all. Oh. you never told me which books of John Grissom you read. Oh, all of them. All? Holy crap, get off my case, lady. You have cash, but you want me to know your name. That's not what that- Rosie Paris. Rosie. Unusual. Is it? I thought it's quite common. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you know how easy it is to have an inner monologue? You have one just like this. Dang, this guy really is stupid. I really honestly thought that he had more than three brains, but I guess not. Notice how I wasn't moving my mouth when I had that conversation with myself. With calling you such an average name. 
I love my parents and my But name. why are you I was named after insulting my her? Grandma, whom I love and respect very deeply. Are your parents Guys 101 of how to not get a girl. What the freak is you doing? Nice, he eats ketchup and freaking soy sauce. Sour cream. Breadcrumbs? Yeah, bro, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if I saw this dude who didn't even eat the bread, he just ate the bread crust with whatever mysterious miscellaneous sauce was in that jar. You have to make sure you're not crazy, Rose. You wanna make sure she's not so, crazy? Let's start with your name. Why isn't the boss Miguel calling the popo? Mm. Lots of rosy Paris, including that 90s actress from White Men Can Jump. <laughs> She's not bad looking. I wonder if there's some deep fake. What? Of her. Even 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 oh. even him even he didn't do nothing. Wait. Even Joe didn't do this. There's the real ones. Of who? Get Rosie? distracted. We'll come back to these later. What? <laughs> what is going a on with you, like Rip Off? You will have Instagram. All girls have All Instagram. All caps? Let's see if I can find you. Okay. Only 200. 200 plus results. But. Is he talking in his head or out loud Instagram right now? I don't know. Connected. This rosy Paris is pretty hot. Wish she came in the bookstore. What? <laughs> Guys, this is reason 122 that you will not get a girlfriend. Also, Joe from you had sort of sweet intentions behind what he was doing, which is why a lot of girls are saying that they like him and stuff like that, which I know probably most of them wouldn't even date him in real life. But from the movie, he's a fictional character. Yeah, I can understand what people are saying that they like that sort of thing. This dude, you know, Joe fixated on one girl at a time. He was never multiple woman type man. He always focused on one girl it was hyper-focused. He couldn't get that one girl out of her head. He was loyal to that one girl whenever that thing was happening. This guy Jeez, another one? is looking at everyone. Rosie Paris, you're destined to be hot. See, he don't care okay, which one he gets. I gotta stay focused. They're not you, Rosie. Not the Rosie I had a connection with earlier. Bro, connection with what? I have a lot of what? profiles to go through here. And I can only see this tiny little app. Her name might not even be Rosie Paris on freaking Instagram, dog. I'm just saying. It could be anything else. Jeez, I left those Rosie Paris actress videos open. It's drained most of my battery. Your battery is literally over halfway. You need to relax. At least, at least, you know, put a picture up of low battery or editing or something so that this, like, we know your battery is okay, bro. Oh, jeez. It's 1 p.m. and I forgot to tell my boss I'm not coming in today. Miguel texted me and fired me. <laughs> this is all because of <laughs> As you. As he should, anyway. Is Dude. that Joe was slightly attractive, okay? The average girl will look at Joe and be like, yeah, he's decently attractive. The problem with you and what you're wearing and what you're doing right now is that you are not Joe. I'm just gonna say it like that, blankly. This can't be just a coincidence. It must be destiny. At least I know it's not convenient plotting like, like you look the like show someone's you. Dad. Because this is real life and Rosie, our love is real. You look like someone's real. dad and Joe did not. Quick, Joe is sweet on the think. outside, okay? You what are... would Joe do? Look at her, well, she looks terrified. It seems I'm already following her. Way too so closely. I'm doing that right. I don't think she saw me. What are you doing? Bro, Joe. Bro, Joe was just. I hid behind that tree. Guys, Here's Joe or this guy. Her. Clearly, Destiny had us meet twice for a reason. Meet? You can't call it meeting someone again if you followed them home to stalk them. That is not meeting someone again. Bro, Joe followed hmm. at a bigger distance than three She feet. has an iPhone. I have an Android myself. But who can blame her with all the marketing they do? Random, so but okay. she easily falls for marketing. Just because she's an iPhone doesn't mean she falls for marketing. I guess so. Marketing. Do millions of others that have an iPhone? Maybe she just likes but the I iPhone. I think I'm getting better at this. Oh, did I speak too There's soon? There's a police. Let's see you following. Sir, can you wait here for a minute now? Uh. Okay, that's a little random. Why are they pulling a gun on him? That's a little. I don't think many cops would really do that. Just randomly pull a gun on him because he's walking behind a girl. I don't think any police officers would actually do that, but. Um, he's having a bad day. Uh, what did I do? We got a complaint from a woman saying she feels you are following her. <laughs> he still wouldn't draw a gun for that, but 
Uh, he, he would probably be like, hey, yo, buddy, wait one sec. Your ID. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's because you followed her John, from huh? three... Your parents must be lame to give you this name, right? <laughs> yeah. The voice sinking, People bro. People call me Jen, though. Look, I wasn't following anyone. Oh, This acting hello, is you. top tier. Ew. What kind of game are you playing with me now? Officer, this is the guy. I saw him at the bookstore yesterday, and now... She literally knows, bro, because you're stupid. You follow her from three feet away. Joe follows her from three streets away, or sitting on a random bench, or from across the road, at least. Like, what, what did you think was going to happen? Rosie must have seen me behind that tree following her. Yeah, we yeah, can... you mean you mean that tree? Yeah, I think I think she saw you, buddy. Reflexes, I like that. Oh, shoot. Don't shoot, can actually. I just don't, say don't that shoot. out loud? Dang it. I got confused. It makes it seem so easy in the show. See, sir? There. He's doing that thing again. <laughs> it's not that difficult to have an inner voice monologue in your head. Every 8 billion people on this planet know how to do that, buddy. So this video is just upsetting me. Deeply upsetting me. Yeah, like he's talking to himself. Sir, put your hands behind your back right now. And the fact that Come their on, voice now. thinks are anything. Oh my goodness. Now I'm getting arrested by this cop that clearly only loves eating donuts. Does he even know how to do this job? Excuse me? Damn, <laughs> I did it again. Are you trying to say these things to yourself? Yes. You are thinking again. I mean, yes. Do you watch that show, You, on Netflix? Hey, yeah, I do. Oh my god, I love that show. No. Bro, what the freak is going on? Wait, me too. It's so hard trying to find a guy that always loves it. My boyfriend, well, my ex, he would never watch anything with me. I would love to have watched it with you. Well, you should just have been yourself, Jim. Maybe I would have liked you back and we could have went on a date. Seriously? Yeah. I can't tell if they're talking out louder in their heads at this point. I literally cannot tell and the voice syncing is so bad. Like I can I cannot tell what's happening. Well, we still can. Nah. <laughs> you're just a little crazy and you just got caught stalking me. So no See, thing. girls like it in the show, but they don't like it in real life, and that's the difference. That's the difference, guys. Like, like, yeah, I liked it in the show. It was, it was in a way, it was. I think women like the idea of someone being that obsessed with them. I think that's what. I think women want their boyfriends to be that obsessed with them. You know that, like. But in real life, like, there's a level of obsession and craziness. You know, women want you to like love them, be obsessed with them, and only them. But not to the point where you're gonna kill people. Who talked to them? Jim learned a valuable lesson that day to be himself and not copy crazy stalking shows he sees on TV. Wow, guys, relatable. This was the lesson we all needed. I feel like this population is going downhill. This generation, you know, are taking too much inspiration from shows. You know, I've seen so many people do this and copy you exactly. So for everyone out there, because I know there are thousands and hundreds of thousands of you guys, that is what we needed, okay? We needed all of you guys to learn that lesson today of to not copy TV shows and to be yourself. Peace.